Hi, I'm Jeff from Akai, and I'm excited to give you a preview of the 1.7 software. This is a major release for MPC, including multi-core and AAX plugin support. In this video, we're going to look at automation. In 1.7, insert effects, drum programs, and VSDIs can all have their parameters automated. There are two ways of controlling automation in the MPC. We have DAW style automation of a program channel strip where each strip has its own automation button. And we also have a global automation button for a simplified automation experience. On the hardware, the Q-Link trigger button can be set in the preferences to control either the current program's automation state or the global automation state. It's up to you. The automation is designed to allow you to move between read and write with one touch. So let's write some automation on this drum part. So I'm gonna turn on my low pass filter insert. I'm gonna come across to my hardware. And then when I'm ready to write in automation, I'm gonna go into write. move my Q-Link, then once I'm done writing automation, I'm going to flick it to read. And then once you have your automation in there, it's literally one touch in to write more, one touch out. So you can keep overdubbing and adding automation until you're happy with it. Automation can be viewed and edited in the automation lane and the different types of automation are differentiated by icons to denote their different types. Automation can also be viewed and edited in the software GUI list editor, here, or in the hardware list editor, here. In 1.7, we have also dramatically increased the number of parameters inside a drum program that can be automated. Lastly, in 1.7, for live performance, we've expanded the destinations available for the Q-Link effects section. Now we can control the master effects parameters. So if I come across to my master effects, instantiate a high pass filter, and then come back to main mode, I can now, in my Q-Link effects section, assign my Q-Links to control the parameters of that high pass filter. So, on Q-Link 13, I'm going to put the frequency, and in Q-Link 9, I'm going to put the resonance for that filter. Now, on my Q-Link section, I can control the master effect. So let's have a listen to that. I can combine these master effects with things like my note repeat parameter, and actually start to really engage in different live performance techniques. So now you've seen the new mixer and automation workflow in 1.7. In later videos, we'll show more of what's in store. The 1.7 release will appear automatically in your MPC software update. Follow Akai Pro for more MPC news. Thanks for watching.